everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Aya's channel! In today's video, we are doing backhand part 3! I am doing a voiceover since the original video was in Japanese, but here we go with the backhand! Let's go! So I just want to do a quick review. In the first video, we talked about how to hold your grip on your backhand and the swing of how to hit your backhand. And in part two, we talked about the contact point of your backhand and the tempo and rhythm in which you should hit the ball. And in today's video, part three, I will be talking about how to hit topspin on your backhand and a great way to practice doing it. When you're hitting your backhand, you always want to make sure that contact point is out in front and you're getting under the ball so that you can go low to high to get that topspin on the ball. Another thing that you want to focus on while you're doing this motion is that you're using your left hand to hit the ball more than with your right hand. I am a right-handed player, so for those of you who are left-handed, it will be vice versa. And of course, for double-handed players, we will be using both hands to hit the ball. But you want to focus on your left hand so that the left hand is actually hitting the ball and it's driving through giving you that power. And just a reminder, when I say I want you to focus on your left hand, it doesn't mean that you're going to be using just your wrist or your arm. You want your body moving as one unit so when you're doing this movement, everything is in control and you're getting the power that you need. We always need to remember that the main place that we're getting our power from is going to be from our legs. So it's not going to be just about the arms or the wrist. So when you make contact point out in front of you, you want to really accelerate so that you're getting that speed and power behind the ball. You want to accelerate really fast. As you are doing this, make sure you're getting your power from the ground to your legs to your core that carries onto the ball and transfers all that weight forward. A big mistake that people make is that when they're hitting topspin, they forget this forward movement and they just tend to swing up. So you want to make sure that you're always going to be swinging forward first and then going up after. By doing this, you get the perfect combination of the spin and the power. Next, I want to introduce you a great way to practice learning how to hit topspin on your backhand. It will take some time to learn how to actually hit spin on the ball, but that's why this is such a great way to do it because you can do this anywhere as long as you have a wall and a tennis ball. So what you want to do is you want to take your ball, place it, whoa! <laughs> you want to place it on the wall or fence, and you want to practice doing this down to up movement with either your left hand or you can use both hands. And once you have a feel for it, brush up. So when you do that, it creates an arc and it drops, and that's when you know that you're able to hit topspin. And it may take some practice in the beginning, but as long as you're really focused on keeping that space between you and the ball, and you have your core strong, legs are strong, and you're going down to up, and you make sure you get acceleration when you're hitting up, you will gradually be able to start to get the feel for it, and you will be hitting such a great topspin backhand. So now here is a side angle so that you can see a little better. You can see I'm going low to high, and I'm brushing up. Always remember that when you're doing this exercise, your contact point is out in front of you, your core is strong, and that your weight is always going to be forward. All right, so now I wanna go ahead and practice hitting some balls while I focus on really getting that power from my legs, from my core onto the ball, and really focus on going from low to high so I can get that top spin on each ball. Here we go, split, turn, hit. Split, turn, hit. And I really want to focus that I'm getting my contact point out in front and I'm really accelerating when I'm brushing up. So here's a little bit of slow motion. You can see a little bit clearer. I'm going under, so it's low to high. And I'm making sure that I'm extending first forward before I'm going up. So I'm adding topspin and weight behind the ball. So I'm getting penetration and power onto the ball. And now here is a side angle. You can really see I'm reaching to get that ball and I'm accelerating. So I'm getting racket speed, boom. And it's gonna give me a lot of topspin and power at the same time. And here is a slow motion side angle. 
So I'm gonna split, turn, reach and hit, and I'm extending my racket while I'm hitting from low to high. And now the back angle. So you can see how I'm transferring my weight forward while I'm adding the topspin. So I'm getting both power and topspin at the same time. And now the slow motion back angle, so you can see it a little bit easier. My weight is forward. I'm turning, contact out in front. And while I transfer my weight forward, if I accelerate my racket from low to high, I'm getting that perfect balance of power and topspin. And now a front angle. Split step, turn, hit. Split, turn, hit. And then the front angle slow motion. And the reason I add these slow motions in these videos is because it is so important to make sure that you know what you're doing with your body to really stay in control when you're hitting your shot because every small movement will determine the quality of the shot and the precision that you can get on your ball. And last but not least, here are some clips of me hitting backhands from different angles while I'm moving. And I'm really focused on every small detail of my body, how I'm hitting it, how I'm moving my body, how I'm swinging my racket, and where I'm contacting the ball. And the last important thing that I want to tell you guys in this lesson about topspin is that you always, always, always need to make sure you accelerate when you're striking the ball because that actually gives you more control and a lot of topspin to go with it so your ball quality raises so much. So never be afraid to swing and make sure you accelerate and hit through that ball. And now the last slow motion videos of the day. And also, I do definitely recommend you to video your strokes when you practice them because just like in this, if you watch them in slow motion, you can really see into detail of the movement of your body and how your racket is swinging so that you can further improve your backhand and continue to raise your quality of your strokes. And of course, the more that you practice, the better your backhand will get. So continue practicing. Make sure that you really focused on what you want to do. And remember that when you want to hit a lot of topspin, you always want to keep your body weight forward so that you're getting the penetration behind it, even though you are adding spin so that you have power on the ball and it's not just spin floating up. Alright, so these are going to be the last few strokes of this video today. So I'm going to do a quick little review along with the video. So here we go. So I want to split, turn, it's going low to high, contact out in front, and follow through. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed my video today and that this video can help you with your backhand and hitting top spin and getting that power at the same time. But we're not quite finished with the backhand yet. We still have one more video coming and part four will be about the follow through. And as much as it doesn't sound like a huge part of the backhand, it's one of the most important things in order to complete your stroke. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe for me down below, like and comment on my videos and let's continue to keep working hard. Woo! See you guys!